Jeff, you and I are both involved in uh, Robinhood, which has been supported over the years by the financial services industry and especially by hedge funds. And before I came over here today, David Salzman, who runs it, said, look, everybody has to start thinking beyond cash. We've got to think about in-kind contributions. We need volunteers, for example, and we need to raise the profile of community service of people giving, getting time off to go help at food banks or to offer something that goes beyond writing a check. Uh, will that be part of a new model that, that, that I think it will be, Tom. I think uh, in kind is going to be important. I think what we try to do at a time like this is we won't start new programs, but we support the programs we already have going, you know, because I think it's wrong to go backwards and we can afford doing it. But I think, uh, I, I think non-cash is going to take on more of a luster. But the notion is, is that you have to have a productive <clears throat> economy to really, to really, in the end, be able to do the things we all want to do to make the world a better place. Companies can do a lot in terms of public education. They can do a lot. And I, I consider that part of the philanthropy, when we're talking about you know, cutting philanthropy, well, this is the part which is going to go up, because there is a specific knowledge that you need to spread in the public, which goes towards you know, the, the goal, like talking about the environment or reducing the dependence on oil, etc., that corporation can do. They can contribute through public education programs like this. Not, not very small, but something which is very large. In a time of public-private uh, interaction, are there more things we could, ideas we could be offering that may have a public benefit, but there's still commerce attached to it? And so I, I think Tom, you know, pushing into the middle zone here between pure not-for-profit and commerce is going to take place as well.